morning. We're heading now to the Lake District in the Jeep, four wheel drive video. First proper one on YouTube. It'll probably be crap, but we're gonna see how the Grand Cherokee WJ handles off-road bone stock. I've not touched this car. It's the first four wheel drive I've not touched. Uh, and we're gonna go and take it really against there's only one way of calling them giants of the four wheel drive world in the UK heaps of Land Rovers we're meeting up with a couple of a couple of old friends that I know from the Land Rover world they've all got lifts 33 inch tyres dislocation cones everything but they're fully set up for this I am not so today join me let's see what we can do We're in the Lake District, we're blowing off-roading. We brought the Jeep along, there's lots of modified other stuff that's gonna probably knock out of the park. It's hiding there behind the D2. It's a bit rainy, you can see the mountains kind of behind us. All the dogs are here, so we're gonna get going. I don't know where we're going, Grisdale? I don't know. So, fuel stop. Water stop, chocolate shop. Almost feel a bit out of my depth here. Because these are all the lads that I know from having the Defenders and the Discos in the past. Those who follow me on Instagram will have seen the Defender and heaps of photos of the Disco. Which, by the way, is just over there. Because yes, because yes, I sold it to a friend. There it goes. Uh, fortunately, he's carried it on. Very happy. Well, I'm proper happy to see it out on the road still and still getting out into the middle of nowhere. So, no, everyone's fueling up. I've already fueled up uh, before we got to the camp, so we're ready to go. So, we're just going to sort of see the foot, well, go to the first lane, which I think, as I've already mentioned, is Grisdale.
okay. Two lanes done. I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> Grisdale, Grisdale, and some other random one that I didn't know where we were. Now we're heading to some caves, walk high, have some lunch. This little gem here made tuna pasta. So we got that for lunch. So we'll catch up there. So apart that we're gonna head and see some caves. Literally have no idea where we are. It's been a good day though, the Jeep's been handling quite well. So well, it's handled everything we've thrown at it. Hi Meg, hi Kai. So, I don't know where we are, but we're following a tour, well, we're not following a tour guide, but we're on a tour of the Lake District with a couple of friends. So, caves, then back, hit a track, and then I think we'll probably end up heading back, drop Meg off, and go somewhere for some tea. I cannot believe how big some of these caves are. I'm not going in though, because I don't want to leave Kai. So I know some of the other guys are going in, having a look around, but I'd rather stay with, with my dog. I don't, it's not very fair on him that I've just going off and getting in all these and I'm definitely not taking them in there. But like, look how big it is in here. That's a cave. And there's another one. Open. And they're down there somewhere. Having a look to see if they can have a look at any of the caves here. They've just been in some up in here behind us. So we're just walking back now, going back to the trucks. Get back on the trucks. We'll come down. ended the video quite abruptly there but basically that was the end of the track uh, it was half full the guys were heading back to the campsite so we just had decided to head off home it is now following morning crystal blue 
walking the dog he's over there somewhere jeep's behind me so is the jeep grand cherokee wj in bone stock form any good off-road absolutely it kept up with everyone else there on their they had all lifts 33 inch tires 31 some of them i think this is running like 20 77 and a half 28 stock so it handled everything really well the quadra drive system is different level when you compare it to like bone stock land rovers with open diffs uh, i was just amazed put it in four low never slipped never felt like i was losing much control it just kept going over anything my biggest problem was clearance but because it's the overland spec it's got skid plates underneath uh tree rock sliders uh as standard so fully protected underneath wasn't really a problem the only thing i had to watch obviously was like sharp rocks because i was on road tires so if you're looking to get your next 4 and you don't want to spend heaps of money that little beauty cost me a thousand pound and it's just gone everywhere that well my old defender and obviously my old disco because i followed it for most of the day uh has gone I, I put thousands of pounds into those two trucks and i've spent i don't know i think 300 quid on an mot for this but thanks for watching I will see you again soon.